Nature is beautiful, but it's also unforgiving. Do you think you have what it takes to survive in the wilderness? The realities of the Amazon rainforest might change your mind. From the most mysterious disappearances to bot flies, here are 20 reasons why you should never be alone in the Amazon. Number 20. Mysterious Disappearances There are a lot of reasons why you wouldn't want to get lost in the Amazon rainforest alone, primarily because even seasoned explorers have entered its depths and vanished without a trace. The most famous cases are those of Percy Fawcett and Yossi Ginsberg. Percy Fawcett, a British explorer, embarked on an expedition in 1925 with his son Jack and friend Raleigh Rimmel to find the lost city of Z. Despite being well prepared, they vanished without a trace. In 1981, Israeli adventurer Yossi Ginsberg got lost in the Amazon for weeks after splitting from his friends during an expedition. His story was later depicted in the movie Jungle. He faced extreme conditions including attacks from wild animals and starvation before being rescued. His companions, Carl Ruprechter and Marcus Stamm, who chose a different path, were never seen again. These two cases alone are enough to highlight how harsh the Amazon really is. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. The Boiling River There are a lot of factors that affect how long someone would survive without food or water. But we have a rough estimate. Experts can't exactly predict how long a person will last, but on average, a person can survive up to two months without food. Now that's enough time for rescuers to track your location if you're lost in the middle of nowhere. However, going on without water is a different story, with the average person only having the capability of surviving for a mere three days without it. Naturally, the first thing you'd want to secure if you hypothetically get lost in the Amazon is drinkable water. You walk miles until you stumble upon a small body of water, but this is no river. Steam is coming out of it, and there's no life swimming in it. This is the Boiling River, and it's something you want to avoid. The Boiling River is a thermal river, a tributary of the Pachati River, which eventually flows into the Ukiali River and then the Amazon. This river, spanning roughly 9 kilometers in total, with about 6.24 kilometers dominated by hot geothermal waters, is considered the largest documented thermal river in the world. The temperatures in this river are astonishing, ranging from near ambient to over 194 degrees Fahrenheit, with the hottest being 210 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if a creature has the unfortunate fate of slipping into this river, it would definitely be boiled alive. It takes just one second to suffer from third degree burns in this river. So just when you thought you could have warm water to drink, you're back to square one. Number 18. Mosquitoes As you continue walking around, you notice small insects swarming around you. That's right, mosquitoes. These insects only cause harm to humans, and they're not really doing anything for our planet, aside from the fact that they're the number one food source for the majority of fish, amphibians, reptiles, arachnids, and other small creatures. Mosquitoes are your number one enemy in the Amazon. These tiny insects, often dismissed as mere nuisances, hold a reputation as some of the most dangerous creatures in the rainforest. For instance, the female Anopheles mosquito is responsible for transmitting malaria. And as if that's not enough, there's also the chance you'll encounter Aedes aegypti, which can inflict yellow fever, chikungunya, and Zika. There's a reason why these small, long-legged insects are considered the deadliest animals in the world. Dengue can affect people in both wilderness and urban areas. Outbreaks occur in many countries around the world, including in the Americas, Asia, the Pacific Islands, and Africa. For instance, in 2021 alone, 619,000 people died from malaria. This disease is no joke. One second, you're having rashes because of insect bites. And the next thing you know, you're experiencing headaches, burning fever, joint pain, eye irritation, and muscle pain. It's not really the best thing to experience if you're trying to survive on your own in the most challenging rainforests on the planet. Number 17. Army Ants If you somehow got lucky and had a mosquito repellent on hand, the next thing you'll notice are the army ants. There's a reason why their name sounds terrifying. The ants are carnivorous and forage in swarms. Yes, that's right. These creatures are carnivorous. Unlike most ant species that send individual scouts to locate food, army ants deploy a cooperative leaderless group of foragers to detect and overwhelm their prey. 
This behavior is part of what's known as the army ant syndrome, characterized by collective foraging, nomadism, and highly specialized queens, making them efficient social hunters. An intriguing aspect of army ants is their nomadic lifestyle. They don't build permanent nests, but form bivouacs as they travel, constantly hunting for prey to feed their enormous colonies. During the nomadic phase, they move during the day, capturing insects, spiders, and small vertebrates. At dusk, they form their nests, which change almost daily. But are they dangerous? While army ants are equipped with formidable mandibles and sometimes stingers, they're not typically a threat to humans. These ants move slowly, approximately 30 to 60 feet per hour, making it easy for humans to avoid them. However, they can be dangerous to those who are unable to move away, such as infants, the elderly, or the inebriated. Instances of army ants causing human fatalities are extremely rare, but not impossible. That's right, these creatures might be slow-moving and tiny, but the chance you'll suffer because of them isn't zero. Number 16. Yellow Anaconda The insects aren't the only creatures you have to worry about. First, we have the yellow anaconda. The yellow anaconda, smaller yet formidable compared to its relative, the green anaconda, is native to South America. Its habitat extends across the drainage of the Paraguay River, including regions like the Pantanal in Bolivia, western Brazil, northeastern Argentina, and possibly parts of Uruguay. These snakes thrive in mostly aquatic habitats such as swamps, marshes, and slow-moving rivers, making them adept swimmers and often called water boas. But if you encounter this creature, you don't really need to get worried. You see, unlike other snakes, the yellow anaconda is a constrictor, which means they're not really venomous creatures. These creatures grow up to 15 feet in length and weigh over 120 pounds, and their size helps them overpower other creatures and suffocate them. Despite their fearsome reputation, fueled mainly by sensationalized media portrayals, yellow anacondas are not the man-eaters of horror stories. They prefer to hunt animals that pose less risk, avoiding the potential injuries that could come from attacking a large combative human. However, it might be better to avoid contact with these creatures, just in case. Number 15. Eyelash Viper The eyelash viper is another creepy crawler you want to avoid in the Amazon rainforest. This snake is famous for its striking appearance, characterized by a set of modified scales above the eyes resembling eyelashes, thought to aid in camouflage among the foliage where it hides. The species exhibits a wide range of colors, including red, yellow, brown, green, and even pink, along with various combinations of black or brown speckling. Now these guys are predominantly arboreal, which means they like spending most of their time on tree branches or vines, rarely venturing to the forest floor. Their diet primarily consists of small mammals, lizards, frogs, and birds. The eyelash viper employs a nocturnal hunting strategy, using its keen vision, heat-sensing pits, and agility to locate prey before striking swiftly and accurately. It also utilizes its tail as a decoy to lure potential prey closer. Once it captures its prey, the snake uses its venom to quickly paralyze or kill it. Despite their venomous nature, eyelash vipers are not known to be aggressive towards humans and will only strike if harassed. However, it's important to note that they're alert and aware at all times of the day, capable of capturing prey at any moment. Their venom, while not typically fatal to humans, can cause severe pain, swelling, and sometimes paralysis. And this will significantly lower your chances of ever getting out of the Amazon rainforest. Well, at least you now know how to identify these snakes. Number 14. Giant Otter While walking around the Amazon, you just might stumble upon giant otters. Humans have the natural urge to pet anything that we find remotely adorable. But giant otters aren't really creatures you'd want to interact with in the wild. In fact, you don't even want to be anywhere near them. Often seen as playful and affectionate, these otters reveal a more nuanced side to their nature. The giant otter, quite impressively, is the largest of its kind within the otter species, and they can grow up to a staggering six feet in length. These otters live in tight-knit family groups, often comprising a monogamous pair and their offspring. Within these groups, bonds are constantly reinforced through activities like hunting, grooming, and playing. Now, one might think of these otters as gentle giants, but again, there's more to them that meets the eye. They're skilled hunters, primarily feasting on fish, but their diet also includes crustaceans and small vertebrates. Interestingly, 
They hunt both individually and in groups, showing a remarkable level of coordination and cooperation. However, when their territory or young are threatened, they display a fiercely protective side. Incredibly, there have been accounts of giant otters scaring off predators as formidable as jaguars to protect their young. These otters are pretty vocal, using a variety of sounds for different purposes. From warning calls to initiations for activities, their vocalizations play a crucial role in their survival and social interactions. Yet even so, it's essential to approach the understanding of these otters with a nuanced perspective. While they exhibit fascinating social behaviors and can be incredibly endearing, they're also capable of aggression. This is particularly evident in their defensive strategies, both for their young and their territory. It's a reminder that despite their adorable appearance, they're wild animals with instincts for survival and protection. Number 13. The Bushmaster Now we're not done with dangerous snakes in the Amazon rainforest yet. Here's another. In this rainforest is the Bushmaster snake. You see, this snake is not only the largest venomous snake in the Americas, but also one of the most enigmatic inhabitants of this lush, vibrant ecosystem. You see, this creature can grow to a staggering length of up to 12 feet, sometimes even reaching 14 feet, with a robust build and striking angular patterns on its scales. This snake is a master of camouflage, blending seamlessly into the rainforest floor. However, despite its intimidating presence, the Bushmaster is an elusive creature, preferring the solace of remote, undisturbed forest areas. This creature isn't picky when it comes to food. Its menu ranges from rodents and ground-dwelling birds to reptiles like lizards and smaller snakes. This snake is an opportunist, seizing the chance to devour large prey when available. With its powerful jaws and swift strike, the Bushmaster demonstrates its prowess as a top predator. But what the Bushmaster really is known for is its venom, which is a potent mix of hemotoxic and neurotoxic components. The hemotoxic component can easily lead to paralysis, and in severe cases, respiratory failure. This makes immediate medical attention crucial in the event of a bite. But just like the snakes that I showed you before, the Bushmaster, as intimidating as it sounds, prefers to avoid contact with humans. Unless they feel threatened, then you better be prepared for their potent venom. Number 12. Manchineel Tree Imagine walking in the Amazon, trying to figure out where to go and how to sustain your body for longer, when you suddenly stumble upon a tree that bears a fruit similar to apples. You think you've found something you could safely consume, but you're actually looking at the deadliest tree in the tropics, the manchineel tree, known in Spanish as Arbol de la Muerte, which chillingly translates to tree of death. This tree holds a reputation as the most dangerous in the world, towering up to a staggering 50 feet. Its bark, a mix of reddish and grayish hues is rugged, yet deceptive. It's distinct, but it can easily be confused with other tree species in the Amazon. The tree's fruit, resembling an apple, might tempt the unsuspecting and weary traveler. But beware, every part of this tree is laced with potent toxins. The manchineel sap, oozing from leaves, bark, and fruits is notoriously harmful. Even a mere touch can cause severe blistering of the skin. And quite alarmingly, if the sap finds its way into your eyes, it can lead to temporary blindness. The danger extends even to its smoke. Burning the manchineel can release an aerosol that harms the respiratory system. In fact, the manchineel is used to lace arrows, creating toxic weapons that can quickly render a person dead without medical care. The thing is, anyone without knowledge can easily consume the fruit of this tree without knowing that it could easily end their lives. Number 11. Rugmansia Rugmansia, or angel's trumpet. Sounds like a harmless plant, doesn't it? Well, think again. This plant in South America's tropical forest resembles celestial horns, as their names suggest. However, there's more to these angelic trumpets than meets the eye. Quite fascinatingly, every part of the Brugmansia teems with tropane alkaloids, potent chemicals like atropine, scopolamine, and hyoscyamine. These substances, while having some medicinal uses, are extremely toxic. Ingesting any part of this plant can lead to symptoms that are anything but heavenly, contrary to its name. From euphoria and hallucinations to respiratory distress and paralysis, the consequences can be severe, even fatal. But even so, throughout history, Brugmansia has been more than just a dangerous plant. You see, if you know how to utilize it properly, it can be used for medical treatments, alleviating ailments like asthma and fevers. Modern medicine acknowledges its potential, 
albeit handled with the utmost care for its strong anticholinergic properties. But let's face it, most of us wouldn't know how to work with this plant properly. So any attempt to use it for its medicinal properties while being lost and alone in the Amazon is just a pointless gamble. Number 10. Zombie Ant Fungus Imagine you're walking around the Amazon and you suddenly see a carpenter ant that's moving quite strangely. Congratulations! You've come across your first zombie ant. As terrifying as it sounds, the zombie ant isn't like the zombies we see in movies. It's caused by a parasitic fungus, known scientifically as Ophiocordyceps unilateris. This fungus is a bizarre organism typically found in tropical forests, including the Amazon. This parasitic fungus has a singular and somewhat macabre life cycle, primarily targeting carpenter ants. The life cycle of this fungus starts when a spore infects a clueless carpenter ant. The host, without knowing any better, would carry the spore until it successfully germinates. And that's when it begins. The fungus then breaches the ant's exoskeleton and grows inside the ant's body. As the fungus develops, it takes over the ant's behavior, manipulating the insect to leave its colony and climb to a location ideal for the fungus to reproduce. Yep, something that started as a spore can control the larger organism's body. In most cases, it directs the ant to a warm, humid location near the ground, which is optimal for the fungus to spread its spores. Once in position, the ant clamps down onto a leaf or twig with a death grip, and it's here that the ant finally succumbs to death. After that, the fungus continues to grow, eventually producing a fruiting body that releases new spores to infect other ants. In 2018 alone, 15 new species of this zombifying fungus were discovered, and this time, the other species showed a wide range of host specificity and morphological differences. Sounds complicated, but other species of carpenter ants were targeted. Now hopefully, this fungus won't evolve anymore and won't learn how to infect bigger hosts. Like say, for example, humans. I sure do hope not, but if you're updated with popular fiction, perhaps you already know about that one zombie franchise where people turn into mindless monsters because of a fungus infection. So who knows? Maybe the zombie apocalypse isn't as impossible as it seems. Number 9. Giant Water Lily If you saw this in the wild, would you be tempted to step on it? I know I would. This is the giant water lily. It's famed for its enormous circular leaves, which can reach up to 10 feet in diameter. And for this reason, it looks like it could easily support your weight. And for most people, this is true. These leaves are huge and robust, capable of supporting significant weight. But you have to do it with caution. You see, the underside of these leaves and their stems are covered with sharp spines. These spines serve a dual purpose. They protect the plant from herbivorous fish and other underwater predators. And they can also be aggressive toward rival plants. As the lily unfolds, it aggressively seeks sunlight. And in doing so, it can crush nearby plants, depriving them of essential light and significantly darkening the waters below. Young giant water lilies are even known to swing their spiny stalks and buds around to forcibly make space for themselves. Do you think plants don't know competition? Think again. But perhaps the most interesting thing about the giant water lily is its relationship with the species of scarab beetle. As huge as its leaves are, this plant's flowers are short-lived. In fact, you can only see their white or reddish-pink blooms for only 48 hours before they disappear. The flower emits a fruity smell that attracts these beetles. Once the beetles are inside, the flower closes for a night, trapping them. However, the plant doesn't intend for the insect to die. Rather, trapping facilitates the pollination process as the beetles carry the pollen to other flowers. Number 8. Amazon River Bull Shark We've cemented that the rainforest of the Amazon is filled with dangerous creatures. The same goes for the water surrounding it. The most formidable creature? The bull shark. You're probably wondering, but don't sharks live in the ocean? That's true, but these species, while primarily associated with oceanic environments, demonstrate a remarkable ability to adapt to freshwater conditions. Bull sharks have been observed as far inland as the Amazon basin, with sightings as remote as Iquitos, Peru, nearly 2,500 miles from the Atlantic Ocean. This exceptional ability to thrive in salt and freshwater is due to their specialized kidneys. These kidneys can adapt to changes in water salinity allowing the sharks to inhabit diverse aquatic environments. These sharks are also known for their stocky build, broad, flat snout, and aggressive nature. Females are typically larger than males. 
with adults averaging around 7.9 feet in length and weighing about 290 pounds. The largest, however, was about 13 feet long, weighing around 690 pounds. Their diverse diet includes fish, turtles, birds, and even other sharks. Their capacity to adapt to different diets and environments makes them formidable predators. Additionally, their aggressive behavior and inclination towards shallow coastal waters, areas commonly frequented by humans, label them as one of the most dangerous sharks to humans. Tough luck if you find yourself at the mercy of the Amazon River. Number 7. Kandaroo Fish The notoriety of the Kandaroo Fish lies more on myths and testimonies than scientific truth. Even so, this fish retains its reputation of being one of the most fearsome creatures that reside in the waters of the Amazon. The Kandaroo Fish, a small parasitic catfish found in the Amazon basin, has been the subject of a notorious myth. This myth suggests that the Kandaroo is attracted to the scent of urine and can swim up the human urethra lodging itself there to feed on blood. However, upon examining the available evidence, this claim appears more fiction than fact. Historical accounts from the 1800s mention instances of Kandaroo entering human bodies, but no modern account has been scientifically examined. The studies we've done so far, however, have shown that the Kandaroo hunts by sight, not by detecting the scent of urine. This challenges the long-held belief that urinating in water attracts the fish. Moreover, the physical dimensions and anatomy of the kandaroo make it unlikely that the fish could forcibly enter the human urethra. Even so, this doesn't stop the locals from avoiding this small fish. Number 6. Electric Eel If there's an amazing fish that's equally horrifying, it's probably the electric eel. Despite their name, they're not the true eels, but belong to the knifefish family, more closely related to catfish and carp. These creatures are remarkable for their ability to generate electric shocks, a feature they use for navigation, hunting, and self-defense. You see, electric eels are equipped with three specialized electric organs, the main, hunters, and sax organs. These organs allow them to produce up to 860 volts of electricity, an ability known as bioelectrogenesis. Now that power is enough to seriously inflict pain. In hunting, they emit low-voltage electric pulses to locate prey and high voltage bursts to immobilize them. Their diet includes fish, amphibians, and sometimes small mammals. What's more, they can also leap out of the water to catch prey. Although eels won't actively seek out humans to hurt them, they won't hesitate to let out a little shock the moment they feel threatened. Number 5. Red-Bellied Piranha Perhaps most of you are aware of what piranhas are known for. While not exactly man-eaters as often portrayed, there's still a reason to be wary of waters infested with piranhas, especially the red-bellied piranha native to the Amazon River Basin. These fish are known to hunt in packs, which adds to their reputation for ferocity. In groups, they can efficiently converge on prey and strip it down to the bone within minutes. True to their nature, red-bellied piranhas have distinctive red undersides. This coloring is more vivid during their breeding season and can vary in intensity among individuals. Their bodies are primarily gray, adorned with bright silver scales. Contrary to popular belief, red-bellied piranhas are omnivores, and their diet reflects a broad spectrum of food sources. Their sharp teeth effortlessly puncture through tough plant materials, revealing their surprising dietary adaptability. Additionally, their powerful jaws generate significant force, crucial for crushing shells and bones, thus expanding their access to diverse food, including fish, insects, mollusks, carrion, fruit, leaves, and even small animals like birds or capybaras. Yep, the friendliest animals on Earth. Number 4. Amazonian Giant Centipede If you're afraid of creepy crawlers, then this will definitely be in your nightmares. The Amazonian Giant Centipede is the world's largest, with a length exceeding 30 centimeters or about 12 inches, and usually having 21 or 23 segments. This centipede is found in various places throughout South America and the extreme South Caribbean. The Amazonian giant centipede's behavior and diet are particularly intriguing. It can overpower and slay animals much larger than itself, including lizards, frogs, snakes, birds, mice, and even bats. But it also has venom. While not usually lethal to humans, its bite can cause severe pain, swelling, and nausea. There has been at least one reported human death attributed to its venom, so this creature is no joke. Number 3. 
Brazilian Wandering Spider From a creepy centipede, here's a terrifying arachnid, the Brazilian Wandering Spider. This genus includes some of the most venomous spiders known to man, posing a significant threat to humans. If you encounter this in the wild and accidentally get bitten, then you're in grave danger. These are called wandering spiders because they roam the jungle floor at night. The Brazilian wandering spider's venom is particularly neurologically active and can be fatal, especially to children. A single bite can compromise an adult's bodily system within 30 minutes. The venom consists of a complex mixture of neurotoxins, cytotoxins, and enzymes, capable of causing intense pain, muscle cramps, fever, nausea, and in severe cases, paralysis. Ultimately, the severity of a bite's effects can vary, depending on factors like the amount of venom injected and the individual sensitivity. Immediate medical attention is crucial following a bite from a Brazilian wandering spider. And if you're alone in the middle of the Amazon, this isn't possible. Unless, of course, you're a medical practitioner carrying supplies. Number 2. Jaguar Now, jaguars are among the few big cats native to the Americas, including the Amazon rainforest. You see, these creatures hold the title of the largest big cat species in the Americas and the third largest feline globally, after tigers and lions. Adult jaguars typically weigh between 100 to 250 pounds, with males being larger than females. They're about 25 to 30 inches tall. Jaguars are excellent swimmers and are adapted to living in wet environments like the Amazon's lakes, rivers, and wetlands. They have a diverse diet, preying on animals such as capybaras, deer, tortoises, iguanas, armadillos, fish, birds, monkeys, and large animals like tapirs and caimans. Their powerful jaws are strong enough to break through the tough hides of crocodilians and the shells of turtles. With that being said, there's no way an average person would survive a jaguar who's already set their sights on them. And now it's time for today's topic. This is why you should never be alone in the Amazon. Aside from the creatures I've told you about, there are stories of a constrictor lurking in the Amazon that allegedly dwarfs even the largest snakes known to man. This creature is an impressive 30 feet long. It's said to be lurking in the murky waters of the Amazon River or hidden beneath the dense canopy of the rainforest. Accounts of its size vary, with some stories describing it as long as a bus, capable of engulfing large animals or even humans in one swift motion. Photographic evidence exists, but of course, skeptics still doubt the existence of such a large creature. After all, if it's truly a behemoth, how come scientists haven't had the chance to examine this specimen? Well, perhaps the dangers of the Amazon protect it and prevent it from being revealed to the rest of the world. What do you think? Number 1. Botfly The botfly. If you're easily repulsed, it might be in your best interest not to delve further into details about this creature. All you need to know is that the botfly's most problematic stage in its life cycle is its larval stage. Botflies are known for their high reproductive rates. Females can lay between 300 to 500 eggs. Botflies thrive in tropical regions, originating from Central and South America, with some African populations. You wouldn't want to know where this insect lays its eggs, though. You see, the botfly larva infest the bodies of warm-blooded mammals by burrowing into the host's subcutaneous tissue and feeding on it. This parasitic relationship can lead to an infection known as myiasis in humans. Botflies don't directly deposit their eggs on the host. Instead, they utilize carrier insects, such as mosquitoes or ticks, to transport and deposit their eggs onto the host's skin. The larvae attach themselves to the host's body, growing and feeding before eventually emerging to continue their life cycle. Once they complete their development, the larvae exit the host, fall to the ground, and pupate, continuing their life cycle. So do you think you can survive being alone in the Amazon? Let me know why or why not in the comments. Personally, I feel confident about my survival skills, but I'm also aware I might eat a poisonous fruit and die in the first hour of being in the rainforest. No thanks, I'm not up for the challenge. Check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.